the tapestry began in the south of England in 1981 in a Quaker Sunday school. Anne Wint Wilson decided to tell the children some of the stories of the first Quakers in the 17th century. It was her intention to make a long scroll depicting some of these stories. Jonathan, then aged 11, thought this was going to be yet another Sunday morning colouring in. Now he knew Anne was an embroiderer and he asked her, can we do it in embroidery? Jonathan threw the first pebble in the pond that January morning and the ripples still continue today. This modern tapestry took 15 years to complete and was made by over 4,000 men, women and children from 15 countries around the world. It was never designed to be an academic history, more of a celebration of Quakers' ideas and experiences over the last 350 years. It was an experiment in education and communication, and today it continues to inspire all those who come to see it here in Kendall Friends Meeting House and when it visits other areas of the country. In 1981, when the project began, Anne Wynne Wilson was completing her City and Girls embroidery thesis on the 11th century Bayeux tapestry. Anne devised an embroidery scheme that would incorporate elements of the Bayeux tapestry within the Quaker tapestry. It would be unified in its design, fabric and materials, yet diverse enough in its technique and subject matter to draw together groups of people with differing interests and abilities. The Quaker tapestry was to be a Bayer in bits. Whenever possible, photographs were used in the design to help the embroiderers choose the colours and the stitches. Here, St Andrew's Church in Sedba was being used to help create the design. When it came to choosing the stitches for the animals, Anne suggested the embroiderers imagine themselves stroking the dogs, and that immediately suggests which way to do the stitches. For the central figure, George Fox, dressed in his leather breeches, Anne did lots of research. She asked her husband David to pose in his walking trousers, and it is said she spent many a happy hour observing men's bottoms. For some Quakers, working on a panel had deep meaning, like the experience of a retired engineer who embroidered the Nantucket Whaler on panel F12. That week's work is likely to be more enduring than anything else I've ever done in my life, which is really quite surprising. In working life, I built factories all over the world that cost millions of pounds. The tapestry is a tiny little thing, but it's obviously going to endure in time more than any of these other things. Already, I know some of the factories I built have been closed and demolished. They pass. While this work we have done is enduring, I was conscious of that while I was working on it. The Quaker Tapestry is just magical. A celebration of years of work by thousands of people across the world. And a revelation both to the participants and to those who see the embroideries for the first time. Beneath the woodland floor Your roots spread deep and far The perfect footing for this family tree She planted you with care Cherished every year Showed the children how If you haven't seen the tapestry yet, then you're in for a treat. No amount of film or photographs can express the vibrancy of colour or relate the scale of this immense work of community art. That one 